Let's now head to the northern region where the Ghana Trade and Livelihood Coalition has interacted with stakeholders along the rice value chain in the Sablugu municipality to fashion out market mapping strategies to harmonize the various initiatives in the rice sector. The Savalugu municipality has more than 40,000 hectares of rice valleys for the cultivation of paddy rice. Rice farming engages more than 1,000 smallholder farmers and 1,500 processors on the value chain. However, only few access within the value chain get the required support during the cultivation and harvesting as activities are poorly coordinated. To harmonize the activities of the rice growers in the municipality, the Ghana Trade and Livelihood Coalition has engaged stakeholders to draw up plans for the rice market mapping activities. The coordinator of the Ghana Trade and Livelihood Coalition, Ibrahim Akalbila, outlined the rationale behind the market mapping. We have worked um, in the rice sector for some time now. Uh, we've done a lot of advocacy. And national and then in some cases local um, and we found out that the relationships existing among the actors at the local level is not as strong as it should even as much as we want policy to work we want there uh, to exist um, it's a level of collaboration um, and coordination at the local level so what the market mapping does is to allow us to discuss really what the real rules of each other uh, are and then um, in, in fact even have the opportunity to you know argue about some of the things we believe others are doing um, within the market system that is not making it work. Mr. Akalbila said there is the need to set out benchmarks for mechanization centers in the region to meet the needs of farmers. One actor really cannot solve the problem it's about how together uh, they can work at resolving them because you find out that issue of impurities that the consumer complains about in our discussion we realize it even starts with the farmer how the farmer harvests you know the, the space on which they place the produce you know begins the problem with impurities up to the process if the processor does not have a right meal to remove those impurities of course it transfers to the consumer so if the consumer does not buy the rice and prefers to go and buy rice from somewhere else, then of course we are creating the problems for ourselves. Mr. Akabila further revealed that research findings on the rice market system will be shared with stakeholders to define the structure and relationships in the value chain. From Savlugu, a report by Noah Nash for Viasatwa News. The local news proudly brought to you by Sasso Insecticides.